Shalom, chaverim. Hi, friends. I'm so happy to be back with you again today. This is the second session of getting ready for Passover. We made our homemade plagues. I hope you have your kits ready for your virtual seders. And today, we are going to make one of our family's favorite Passover desserts. I got this recipe from my mom and my brothers and I always love this. And now all of our kids love it and I make it also. So with me today is my daughter, Mia. Hi. All right, we are very excited to make this with you. This is chocolate chip mandel bread. Now mandel bread is something you can eat year round, but usually you make it with flour. We're not gonna make it with flour today because we are getting ready for Passover. Yeah. Right, okay. So uh, do you wanna let them know what ingredients we have out here? Sure, so we have six eggs, right? We have salt, we have some matzo meal, here we have potato starch and stuff to, this is to spray our pan so it doesn't stick. We have chocolate chips, uh, butter, we have some sugar, is this sugar? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we have some like Measuring cups and measuring spoons. And? And some cinnamon sugar. Cinnamon, right, just plain cinnamon. cinnamon. Yeah. So this recipe, you'll see, I um, am putting it on the night before this comes out so you can get your ingredients ready. It does call for nuts. We've never put nuts in our mandel bread, but I will show you where you put them in if you choose to put nuts in your mandel bread. Okay, so we decided this time to use our electric mixer, which we don't normally use just for a change of pace. I'll come back around here. So we are going to take our bowl and the first thing that we have to do to make this mandel bread is to cream together the butter and the sugar. Now, you need half a pound of butter or margarine. Can that's you imagine? A lot. That is a lot of butter. That's probably why it tastes really good. Okay, why don't you open one and I'll open one. We're gonna put those in and then we have to mix them with the sugar, and it's two cups of sugar. That's probably also why it tastes yeah. so good. Sometimes. I wonder why it tastes so good. Yeah, sometimes, even though it's so fun to bake. Oh! <laughs> we have sugar <laughs> everywhere. Do you know what sugar in Hebrew is? Sukkar. And now we have sukkar all over our shulchan, our table. All right, I'm going to get a better grip on that. Did you get sugar all over you? Yes, I did. Okay, yum. <laughs> But we're not going to lick that up. We're just going to clean that up. Okay, now let's do the second cup of sugar. And do now you want to come the over bowl, here? It kind of looks like snow. Yeah, a little bit. And on our table. And on our shulchan, our table. Okay, so Mia, you want to turn this on? Sure. Okay, so just flick those to a higher number. Uh, and let's get these creamed. I don't know. Let's check it out. This is like two. Okay. Go ahead and try a little faster. All right, that looks good. And at some point, we'll pause it and scrape the stuff out of the whisk so that it can keep beating those. You want to try six? Go ahead. We don't want it flying out of the bowl any more than it already has. No, I think six is okay. Mm, it looks good. Yeah, it smells good too. All right, you want to flick it off? We'll see how it's doing. Okay. Now let's see what is next. I know there's sugar everywhere. When we're on a pause, we're gonna have to clean this up so we can see everything. Okay, now we're gonna add in the eggs one at a time. So we are going to open this back up. And grab gonna, the bowl of eggs. Yeah, perfect. So you're gonna do one egg. We'll beat it in a little, make sure it's all together. And then we'll do the second egg all the way through to the sixth egg. So hopefully you can do this with us. Go ahead, crack one in. Oh, we're gonna do it over there. Sure. Can we take the bowl out so it's easier? Yep. Let's see. And you can just put the shells right back in that bowl. Go ahead. One. Okay. Now, once we have this one in and we've started mixing, I'll just put it on low and you can beat the, you can uh, crack the next one in. Okay? So while I'm mixing it, go ahead and get the next one ready. Okay, go ahead. Careful not to drop any shells in, because otherwise it's gonna be a little crunchy. And it won't be crunchy because of the nuts. It will be crunchy because of the egg. That is not quite as good. Okay, that egg's getting ready. Ready for the third one? Yep. 
Okay, go ahead. Wait, that opened I wonder right. if you are cracking your eggs at the same time. You have to open it up. And there comes a the yolk. Okay. That was three. So we've done achad, stein, shalosh. All right, we're about to do number four. Do you remember the word for four in Hebrew? Arba. Arba. Okay, here we go. And the other day we made 10 plagues. 10 in Hebrew is eser. We are not going to put eser eggs into oh, our... I think uh, no leg. You got it? Yeah, just okay. opening. We are going to put sheesh. That's the number of eggs there? in that we are going to put. How come you're not opening it all the so way? That's very open. funny. You just wanted to do it a fun way. Yeah, and the uh, egg was... I okay, I, I think I see a little shell. Luckily, it's on the side, so we're going to get it out. Oh, no, it was just a lump of sugar. Yes, no. Oh, there it is. I thought I saw one. Okay, let's mix that one in. Ooh, all right, that was our box. So now we are on chamesh. Go ahead. That's the number I always remember. How come? I think it's the easiest. No, oh, all right. Uh, Perfect. Okay. Watch out. Here we go. And then we are going to do sheesh. Okay. Go ahead. Once we mix that and we're going to move to a separate bowl to mix some of our dry ingredients together before we put those into this mixture. All right, let's get that all nice and mixed. And we're going to get one of these bowls together. Delicious. Okay, actually, before we mix with the next bowl, the other ingredients, I think we are going to clean up our shulchan so it's easier to work. Will that be better? Yes. We'll see you in a minute. Okay, now our shulchan, our table, is a little easier to work on, and we can see our recipe Yeah, again. so now we can actually make it. Yes, okay, good idea. All right, so now our egg mixture is here. In another bowl, you're going to get a bowl and a whisk or a spoon, something to, to mix together, our cake meal salt and potato starch. Now, we had a little bit of a problem, right? Yeah. Because of everything going on, there was no cake meal in the stores, online, we couldn't find cake meal anywhere. So luckily, my mom, whose recipe this is, taught me something that I didn't know. You can always learn something new, right? Yeah, I, I learn are. something new every day. Me too, I love that. So my mom told me that for every cup of cake meal, if you have matzah meal, which luckily our store had a lot of, you do one cup plus two tablespoons to equal the same cup that it would have been of cake meal. So it's a little confusing, but that's what we're gonna do. Let's do the matzah meal first before we forget that ratio. Okay. Okay, so it calls for two and three quarter cups cake meal. So we're gonna do this a little easier. What we're gonna do is do one cup at a time. So for our first cup of cake meal, ready? Yeah. We're gonna do the one cup of matzo meal, plus, go ahead. And I would do it over the bowl, so in case any falls out, it falls Perfect. in. Perfect, that's a good idea. Plus the two tablespoons that make it so it equals the cake meal, right? Yeah. Okay, now we need another cup of cake meal, AKA matzo meal. <laughs> So this here comes our, ah, <laughs> our one cup yeah. plus the extra two tablespoons. Now, this is where it gets a little tricky. This is kind of to smell like a matzo. It's not surprising since huh. we're using matzo meal. Okay, now for the three quarter cup, we know that we need that full cup again, but because it's not a full cup, what? Wait. <laughs> extra. Now you got the... I got, now I got matzo meal all over the shulchan. Okay, we are going to do um, almost a full cup. And instead of, you know what we should have done was a three quarter cup, but okay. So you're gonna do a three quarter cup. We did almost a cup, which will equal the same. And instead of two tablespoons, you would do one and a half tablespoons because that is three quarters of two tablespoons. Where did my one tablespoon oh, right go? That's right one there. teaspoon. Oh. Maybe I didn't bring it. So we're going to do close to the two tablespoons, a little lower, so that it's like three quarters. And that should be about the right amount. Okay, now, what we're gonna mix into that is uh, the salt. And for the salt, we needed half a teaspoon of salt. 
Ready? You want to do this? Sure, I'll hold it. Okay. Half a teaspoon of salt. Okay. A little white to the... Yeah. And we need the potato starch. And for the potato starch, we need three-quarter cup, which should already be dirty from our matzo meal, but we didn't use it. But again, like I said in one of the other sessions, it is okay to make mistakes and you just work with what you have. Most things can be fixed. It's not a big deal. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, so ready? Three quarter cup potato starch. Maybe we shouldn't do this over because today I'm having a little trouble keeping things in bowls and we don't wanna to have too much potato starch. So we're gonna do it over the table that we're gonna to have to clean up Oi. afterwards, see that? Anyway, okay, go ahead. Good thing we washed our hands. Good thing that we washed our hands. Even after we cleaned the table, we washed our hands again. Okay, you wanna mix that together? While you are mixing that, I have a question for you. Since we're talking about one of Safta's recipes, Safta means grandmother in Hebrew, and that's what my children call my mother, Safta. Since we're talking about one of her recipes, it makes me think a little bit about the seders that we do at Saba and Safta's house sometimes. Yeah. So this year, we're not gonna go to Saba and Safta's house. We're not gonna go to Grandma and Grandpa's house. We're not gonna go to anybody's house except our, our house, right? Our own body. So it makes me think about all the different traditions that we have during Seder. What are some of your favorite memories or, or traditions that we do during Seder? Well, one of my favorite is when um, we act out this song. Uh, what was it called again? I don't know. What's the song tell the story of? It's this, oh, it tells a story of like Moses um, talking to Pharaoh. Oh, is it when Moses says, King Pharaoh, King Pharaoh, what do you say? No, no, no. I will no, not let them go. Right, when Moses is asking Pharaoh to let his people out of the land of Egypt and Pharaoh won't let him. So you like it when you dress up and wear hats? Yeah, and we that, wear hats and we act it out. That's a lot of fun. And you know what's great? When we do our virtual Seder on Zoom, you can still do that. Yeah. Yeah. And also when we do it, we can still look for the Afikoman. That is true. That's People just, other favorite part. Oh, I love hiding the Afikoman when you guys look for it or seeing where someone else hides it. So I wonder how you all are gonna do your virtual seders. We're gonna have some new customs this year, right? Yeah. Okay, so now we're supposed to fold that mixture into this mixture. So I think you wanna pour it kind of slowly in. And as you pour it, I can stir a little. We don't wanna do this in the electric because that might go too quickly. Go ahead. Okay, we're getting this all thickened up. And then after we do this is when we are gonna put the chocolate chips in. Well, can you mix it? it? What? Can you mix it? Yep. Can you put this in? Oh, sure, you wanna switch it's jobs? It's hard to come out, yeah. Um, so after this is when we'll fold our chocolate chips in. If you are going to put nuts into yours, that's when you will also fold your nuts into your mixture. Ooh, it's making it look a little mm -hmm. browner and yummier. You're right. And thicker, right? And it smells really good. So I wonder what some traditions are of some of our friends that are watching this and making their mandel bread. I wonder what they like to do with their seders. Yeah. I wonder if they could post it in the comments so that we could know what you like to do with your seder. Is your favorite part singing? Is your favorite part making the Hillel sandwich, which is the matzah, the haroset, and the maror, the bitter herb, and ow, crunching that up? One of Mia's favorite things to make, I know, is the haroset, right? Yes. She loves that delicious apple dish. Okay, keep on mixing. Okay, and once this is all mixed up and we fold in the chocolate chips, we're gonna spray our pan, we're gonna form this into loaves, and we are gonna get it cooking. So right now is a great time to go set your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and really meet hot. us back here. That is hot, but that is what's gonna turn this into the delicious mandel bread we love. Yep. Okay, mix up, preheat the oven, and we'll see you in a minute. Okay, we've got our mini lev oven set to 350 degrees. I hope your oven is preheating as well. And now we are going to fold the um, chocolate chips into the mixture and then we'll turn them into loaves. We've already sprayed our ham on our pan, right? Yeah. Okay, 
And we are going to put in an entire bag of chocolate chips. An entire bag? And That's a lot. That is a lot. An entire bag. That mixed with the sugar, the butter. It is no wonder that this is going to be delicious. Yeah. Now, this bag is a little hard to open, so we brought over our handy food scissors. Mia's going to fold in those chocolate chips while I show you how to make the, um, the topping, the cinnamon sugar topping. You are going to take one teaspoon of cinnamon. Mm, this is starting to turn out really good. Mmm, smells so good, right? And if you get a little extra, that is okay. This is just for the sweetness on top. You are then going to get two teaspoons of sugar. I'm going to use the half just so I don't get the cinnamon into the sugar. So I'm going to do half. And one. And one and a half. And... Two. Go. Okay. All right, how's that folding of the chocolate chips coming? Really good, except it's kind of sticking to the skin. You know what I was wondering? Do we need a second? You know what? You can use the whisk to wipe that off because I don't think we okay. have a second spoon Ooh, right over ready? here right now. Falling chocolate chips. Yum. Ooh. If it rained chocolate chips, how delicious would that be? What? There used to be a song that I knew like that. Did you ever sing that song? No. If all the raindrops were lemon drops and gum drops. Oh, yeah, I've oh, heard that. what a rain. So imagine if all the raindrops were chocolate chips. We'd be in so much heaven. Mm, it'd be so yummy. Chocolate you know what I'm also wondering? I'm wondering which of our friends are going to be singing the four questions at their Seder, the Manish Tavar. Yeah, especially since, like us, our little cousins like to do it with us. But since it's going to be online, who knows if they're going to want to do it. That's true. Yeah, I wonder if... have to do it. Yeah. And I wonder if people will take turns, like, on their Zoom calls, or if yeah. they're going to have FaceTime and they can all do it together. It's going to be a whole new Seder experience this year, and I'm super excited to see what comes of it. Okay, ready? So now... Awesome. We are going to pull over our pan over here so that we can both reach it. We can move this bag of no chocolate chips left and move our cinnamon before I knock something else over. I am on a roll today. Well, now we can knock this over in the pan. True. Okay, but what we're going to do is actually take about half each, and if it's not exact, that's okay. Half and we are going to we're going to turn it into two loaves. Two loaves. Oh, I see, uh oh, I see some stuff at the bottom. We're just going to mix mm -hmm. a little more. Sometimes you need to mix a little at the end with your hands. Imagine if Olivia was doing this, she would not mm, like it. She that wouldn't it would get over her hands. Although she did get her hands dirty for the chocolate balls, I guess those yeah. were worth it. This okay. is worth it also. That's true. So you're going to kind of turn it into a loaf. Is. Okay, you can do yours right next to mine. Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to turn mine. Is it going to work now? No, we're going to leave it like that. Okay. We're going to turn these into loaves. I'm going to give you a little more. Thank you. You're welcome. And after they cook, they come out looking almost like a, a um, loaf cookie cake. And then you have to let them cool before you slice them up. And they are so delicious. My mouth is watering just I looking at these on the pan. I wonder if maybe one time when you make this, if you make it again, you could form it into a shape. Oh, that is a great idea. What kind of shape do you think we could put it in? Well, right now, since it's about Passover, maybe, uh, hmm. maybe like a cup, because like a shape uh. of a cup, because of. Um, when Elijah, when Eliyahu comes. Right, Elijah's cup, yeah. and there's also Miriam's cup, right? Yep. And also maybe a square for the matzo. Oh, that's true, or a frog, if we were really talented, a frog. Yeah. Okay, um, now your hands look a little less dirty than mine, so if you don't mind, you're going to sprinkle some of that cinnamon sugar mixture now mm -hmm. on the tops of your loaves. Oh, my, my mouth is just watering. I don't know if yours is. But mine definitely is. And it's okay if you had a little extra by Absolutely. Because that will just make it even yummier. For sure. Here it goes. We're going to put all that yummy cinnamon sugar and get it all around so that each of the pieces tastes nice and sweet. Yep. And then we are going to put it in our oven for 30 minutes. Now, you don't want to slice it right when it comes out, but you do want to slice it when it's a little warm, not when it's all the way cold. That's the easiest way to slice it without it crumbling. So, we are going to stick ours in the oven. 
You stick yours in the oven and we'll see you in 30 minutes to see what they look like and what yeah. they smell like. All right, see you in a minute. We took ours out of the oven and how good does this house smell? So good. Oh my goodness. We did start cutting one of them while it was still warm. We wanted to show you the inside of how it looks. So yummy and full of chocolate. Yeah. We love chocolate. Oh, so um, I hope that yours came out great. I hope yours smells wonderful. Don't forget to cut it up into little uh, little pieces while it's still warm. And enjoy some now. Maybe save some for Passover or make it again. You can also freeze it. This is a dessert that freezes well. Yep. You can pull it out. Like and this it will still it. taste good. It will taste great. All right, so next, actually, this is very important. We have a really exciting session next. Do you remember what's next? Something live? Something live. It's live Passover bingo. Okay, we're going to post the bingo sheets for you to download. Pick one uh, card for each player in your home. Meet me on Lev Children's Museum's Facebook page at 11 a.m. Eastern on Sunday morning. We are going to be live. We're going to be playing for prizes. Okay, are you ready? I'm ready too. Until then, Leitro Chavirim. See you soon, friends.